Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's second video, doing the ECF WF46 day slash 6 weeks on air for today's second video for the UK and for Ireland as well. So I shall get on back for you in a moment, <laughs> just to say that the first video released today was our 6am UK weather forecast, I'll be a 10 to 14 day along a little bit later on today as well. So please like, share and subscribe on all of today's videos and content. And thank you so much everybody for doing that for Gaz Weather. Gaz weather things. Thank you so much to ECMWF.INT for supplying the charts as well, by the way. Make sure you see. Right, let's have a look then. So, we're going to start off Crimbo Week. Look at that. By the way, you're going to get some 5th of February, this. Goodness gracious. I don't know. Time's getting on, isn't it? <laughs> anyway, going to start off in Crimbo Week. Uh, Christmas Day 2, New Year's Day 2024. So, next week is going to have low pressure across many parts of Europe. But we do see a bit of blocking up towards Greenland and Iceland. What's going on with that, I wonder? 500 millibar heights look like this. Below average heights across much of the northwest Europe. Some above average heights away to the north. The temperature anomaly is above average for England and Wales. Um, Nearer normal though as we go further north and west into Scotland. And also precipitation looking rather unsettled especially for Ireland, England and Wales. A rather wet Christmas week to come. Week 2 will be the 1st of the 8th of January. So uh, this week sends lower pressure over towards the east side of Europe by the look of it. But still a truck could be extending through there. Is there going to be a reach through here? You I think there would be, but it doesn't really show it. How are the 500 millibar heights looking? Um, so they show a chop of below average heights across much of northern Europe. We have got a bit of middle anti ridge there, so that could start getting wind into a cooler or a colder northerly, maybe. Could it, could it, could it? Temperature anomalies are about average, so a bit of a cool down there from week one to week two. Looking quite cold across Scandinavia, by the way, in Nordic regions. Uh, precipitation wise, we see that it's drier than average away to the northwest, so that's where we've got higher pressure, wetter than average to the south and the east. Could that be a cooler or a colder pattern setting up in the new year? Week three <laughs> will be the 8th of the 15th of January. Oh, that's quite interesting. So some high pressure in the North Atlantic going towards Greenland. I think could we pull round that like a cooler or a colder northeasterly? How are the 500 millibar heights looking? Um, they look like this. So above average heights through the North Atlantic. It depends how far north or west we get that area of high pressure. But we've probably got all that far from being pretty cold, I would have thought, with that, uh, with that high there. So the temperature anomaly, again, about average or no signal. Most parts of Northern Europe, though, are looking cold. Well, Scandinavian Nordic regions anyway. And precipitation are drier under the area of high pressure now. Week 4 will be the 15th to the 22nd of January. Here we go. Oh, interesting again. High pressure going up towards Greenland. Now that's got to start bringing colder air from the north of the northeast, surely. Surely it does, and don't call me Shirley. Um, 500 millibar heights look like that. Below average heights across the northeast Europe, above average heights out in the Atlantic. We are so close to bringing cold northerly winds here. So, so close. Temperature anomalies a little bit above average just to our west. That's probably down to the warm Atlantic more than anything else. Um, no signal or average for the UK. Most of uh, Europe look average, cold and average, up to the north, and as far as the precipitation goes, oh, drive an average just out to our north and uh, northwest there. Week 5 will be the 22nd to the 29th of January. Here we go. Oh, interesting again. Look at this high pressure just to the south of Greenland. I mean, you talk about it, we've got to be bringing in the wind from the north, I must say. I'll be bringing in the wind from the north there. 500 millibar heights. Again, with the above average heights in the Atlantic going up towards Greenland. 
could that get the wind in from the north and from the northeast? Temperature anomalies. Um, so colder than average here. Still for northern Europe, Scandinavian Nordic regions. We're average, a little bit above. I'm not convinced. I'm not convinced. Sorry, I'm not convinced. And the precipitation. Well, look at this. It looks drier than average away to the northwest. Um, and wetter than average, like to our east. So presumably, like all of this precipitation is coming in from the east here, in, in that sort of fashion. Oh, uh, you think you think that's going to be cold? And then uh, week six will be the 29th of January to the 5th of February. Let's have a look. Oh, ongoing blocking signals. How interesting. In the North Atlantic up to Greenland again. Could we open the door to northeasterlies? This is all good news, Gavro's winter forecast, by the way. Um, 500 millibar heights look like that. Mid Atlantic Ridge up to Greenland. Trough to our east. Again, are we getting wind into the northeast with this? Are we? I wonder. Temperature on is still looking, it's going to be a cold January, going to be a bit, a bit of brutal cold January for Scandinavia, Nordic and Baltic regions. Going to be Baltic in the Baltic, <laughs> if this is right. For us, again, you know, no signal. I reckon the cold anomalies uh, will be more widespread than that is showing, though, through January based on this setup. And lastly, precipitation-wise, it looks like that. So you see where the high pressure is. It's up here. Here from the Atlantic up to Iceland into the Norwegian Sea, wetter over there. It all looks very interesting. Merry Christmas and a happy new year <laughs> from uh, the ECM 46 day. -er. Wow, wow, wow. What do you make of that then, everybody? Please like, share, subscribe. Thank you so much, everyone, for getting that. If you enjoyed the video and uh, the plot is thickening, the plot is thickening. Um, right, I'm so sorry, everybody. Um, right, we shall be back a little bit later on with the Attain of Morty Day. No weekend forecast today. It push back to tomorrow. We'll do a Christmas Eve weekend forecast uh, this week. So that's coming up um, tomorrow. But we have got a day and a 14 day out on the way with all of regular features this afternoon. So please keep checking back to the channel for more for the ECM WF46 day for this week mode. That's all for now. And thank you so much for watching. Bye for now. See you soon.